Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Catherine Pulsifer once said, Living a more positive life comes down to attitude and action. Please stay with us as we go through this week's lesson titled, Developing a Winning Attitude. The memory text is taken from 1 Peter 3, verse 15. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you, with meekness and fear. Sabbath Afternoon The more we study Jesus' life, the more we marvel at his ability to accept and affirm people. His mercy extended to even the vilest sinners. The depth of his forgiveness was infinitely deeper than the depths of their sin. His love knew no bounds. Jesus never exhibited a tinge of pride or superiority. In this week's lesson, we will explore more deeply Jesus' attitude toward people and discover how to apply these principles in our own lives. Sunday, receptivity to the gospel. Jesus saw what the disciples did not see, receptive hearts. When our eyes are divinely anointed by the Holy Spirit, we see possibilities where others only see difficulties. We see a rich harvest of souls for the kingdom of God where others only see barren fields. We will not always see the immediate results from our witnessing activities, but as we sow seeds in receptive hearts, they will one day bring a harvest for the glory of God. Monday, an attitude adjustment. Our attitudes often determine our ability to influence others. A harsh, critical, and unfriendly attitude is going to drive people away from you. The woman in Matthew 15 is a Canaanite. Jesus gives her one of the greatest compliments any religious teacher could ever give. The woman who anoints Jesus' feet with expensive perfume is a Jew. When others criticize her, Jesus compliments her and approves of her actions. Tuesday Presenting the truth in love. Friendship alone will not bring people to Christ, but unfriendly attitudes may drive people from Christ. The Apostle Paul looked for the positive in the churches he ministered to. Certainly, he reproved error and did not condone sin, but his focus was to build up the churches that he established. One way he did this was by highlighting what they did right. Wednesday, the foundation of acceptance. The Apostle Paul presents the principles underlying our acceptance of one another. Because Christ has forgiven and accepted each one of us, how can we possibly refuse to forgive and accept one another? Think hard about what this means. We must care enough to share life-changing eternal truths with our friends. Biblical truth presented humbly in Christ's spirit with a loving attitude wins hearts and changes lives. Thursday, truth lovingly presented. Jesus did not neglect presenting the truth for love's sake because that would not have been love. Love always seeks the best for another. Truth presented humbly and kindly is a statement of love. In other words, you need to know what you believe, why you believe it, and be able to explain what you believe and why. Our Lord invites us to join Him in lovingly sharing with accepting attitudes, which is His last day message for world dying without Christ. Friday. In Christ is the tenderness of the shepherd, the affection of the parent, and the matchless grace of the compassionate Savior. His blessings he presents in the most alluring terms. He is not content merely to announce these blessings. He presents them in the most attractive way to excite a desire to possess them. The wonderful love of Christ will melt and subdue hearts when the mere reiteration of doctrines will accomplish nothing.
Have a happy Sabbath.